Hey guys, it's Zoe. So today I'm going to be doing an Owl Crate unboxing. Thanks. Love you. Love you most. The December theme for Owl Crate is Seize the Day, and it's all about being adventurous and living life to its fullest extent. So let's just dive right in and see what's in this box. Sounds gross. That's what he said. Okay. Snip, snip, motherfucker. Ooh! <laughs> Why am I so challenged? Okay. The inside of the box. First thing you see is this lovely little spoiler card. I'm not gonna look at it though, but I really like that design. We'll look at that after. All right, the first thing is a candle by Novelly Yours. It's called the Dreaming Tree. The scent is Harvest Apple and Night. Oh, that smells really, really good. And it's all sparkly on the inside. Hmm, I'm excited for this one. The next thing you see, whoop, whoop, there's a lot, there's a lot happening here. The next thing you see is this cute little ornament. It says, love is everything, everything, I will create 2017. And the back is a quote from Nicola Yoon. It says, life is a gift, don't forget to live it. And this is by Juniper and Ivy Designs. This is super cute. My tree is still up, so I think I'm gonna put it on after this. And the next thing is, oh God, oh God, let's put this on. Ooh, it's a tote bag. Is Harry Potter? Oh. It says, don't let the muggles get you down, which is a quote from Ron Weasley. And on the back is, just love a little lightning bolt. I mean, Harry Potter shirt, Harry Potter tote. This is meant to be. Yeah. Is this a magnet? Next, we have this lovely little magnet by Ink and Wonder Designs. It says, if my life is going to mean anything, I have to live it myself. A quote from the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan, which I haven't read. And I should probably get on that sometime soon. I will. I don't know when. And then we have a double-sided bookmark. The first side says, if you're going to live, you might as well do painful, brave, and beautiful things, which is a quote from The Serpent King by Jeff Zentner. And the other side says, and in that moment, I swear we were infinite, 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 can't speak today, which is a quote from The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. All I know is that book made me cry so much. That was a very rough day. Next is this super cute little journal. I'm gonna need two hands for this one. Oh boy. It is a planner and a reading log. So you got a space for your favorite books here. You have your month with your notes. A book log, book notes, you got a little rating system thing in here. Yeah, you can see you got a bunch of different cute pages for the month, your little notes. And then if you continue on, you have weekly planners with a reading list. This is gonna be very helpful. A do list, a reading list. I'm excited to use this. That's gonna be filled up real quick. This is a collaboration between Blue Star Press and Owl Crate. And a little owl on front, that's cute. And there's a quote from Neil Gaiman on the back here. It says, may your coming year be filled with magic and dreams and good madness. I hope you read some fine books and kiss someone who thinks you're wonderful. Curtis, do you think I'm wonderful? Love you. Love you too. He thinks I'm wonderful. I'm gonna kiss him later. And don't forget to make some art, write or draw or build or sing or live as only you can. And I hope somewhere in the next year, you surprise yourself. That's actually a really cute quote. Thanks, Neil Gaiman. I hope the same for you. Next, we have this lovely little thing. Could be a bookmark, I don't really know. With the cover of Lucky in Love by Casey West. It has a little note from her on the back. It says, hello, Owl Crate readers. I wanted to send a quick note to say thank you so much for all your enthusiasm and support for P.S. I Like You. I had a lot of fun writing that book, especially the letters between Lily and her mystery boy. Ooh, mystery boy. There's just something about letters that makes me melt. So cue me melting because I've received so many messages from all of you. Letters, tweets, PMs. Even all these months after the book was featured in Owl Crate, I'm hearing from you. So thank you. My latest book, Lucky in Love, isn't the cover adorable? Right there. I like it. I'm a big fan. This novel is about a girl who wins the lottery and learns that money can't always buy happiness. It's a pretty good lesson in life. But it can buy books and shoes and tacos, and those are close enough to happiness. Plus, there's a love story, of course. If you know my books, you know I have to include a kissing scene or three. It's my favorite part. I love writing about love. I love reading about love. I really believe that love makes the world a better place. I agree. That is my wish for you readers, that you come away from my books feeling happy, hopeful, and more in love. Yours, Casey West. That's super cute. I really like that. Oh, there's something else in here. As always, there is the little pin. Is that the right way? 
with the picture from the spoiler card. And finally, God, I'm gonna drop everything. I'm gonna drop everything. Woo! We have the book. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff happening. Okay. Okay. And the book is Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills, which features an Owl Crate exclusive cover. This story is about a girl named Claudia who overhears the breakup between Paige and Iris, the it couple at her school, which lands her on Iris's shit list, and they end up getting thrown into a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream against their will. I'm excited to see how that happens. I'm very curious. And hilarity ensues. It's a story about navigating first love, friendship, stepping outside of your comfort zone, and seizing the day. See what I did there? In the same package as the book came this lovely little note from Emma Mills. It says, Dear Owl Crate Reader, I am so excited to share Foolish Hearts with you this month through Owl Crate. It's at the very last party of the summer that things begin to unravel for Claudia. She accidentally overhears the breakup between class darling Paige and class mean girl Iris and winds up on Iris's bad side. After Claudia and Iris are thrown together on a project that goes awry, they're forced to work on the school's production of A Midsummer Night's Dream. As Shakespeare wrote, the play is the thing, and it's the play that throws the charming Gideon into Claudia's path, draws her deeper into Iris's life, and leads her to discover that though the course of true love never did run smooth, it's worth it in the end. I love theater, and A Midsummer Night's Dream is one of my favorite plays. The story of Midsummer served as a model for the kind of story I wanted to tell with Foolish Hearts, a funny, swoony story about relationships at varying stages of development. I wanted to explore not only romantic love, but also platonic and familial love too, and the ability of love to be with and transform. I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed writing it. Emma Mills. That's super cute too. Ah, I love it. And it also came with this cute little patch that says Foolish Hearts on it and a signed book plate. And at the very bottom of the box we have the theme card for the next month. January is Fearsome Fairy Tales. And you will receive an exclusive item from Spireside Candles. Ooh, that's nice. I'm excited. I love fairy tales. Oh, naturally. As I was putting this away, I noticed a little blurb on the back here. There's a character named Zoe that spells it the same way I do. I am suddenly very nervous for this book. I want her to be a good character. I want her to be a decent human being. Please, I can't deal with that. Fingers crossed. So that's it for my December Owl Crate unboxing. If you liked it, please subscribe down below and give it a thumbs up. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads, all at your book nerd Zoe, which I will link down below for you. I need to go finish filming my bookshelf tour. I am a little afraid to finish this. There is so many books I need to get through and I need to organize before I can finish this. But I will see you guys then. Bye!